What's up guys, and of course, welcome to another video. Probably just really the scavenger. Yeah, can I, can I not go in there as well as I want to? However, due to, well, as you guys already know, kind of lack of content as ever, uh, I really just wanted to share a few thoughts about the, you know, the upcoming leak season, because it seems to be worse than ever, and while I do joke about it a lot on Twitter, as you guys probably follow me there, I try to joke that one around as much as I can at the same time that you know, other pocket tubers like me or you know clearly bigger do kind of um, take the bait and really just threw it out to people like oh my god new EV evolution and you know yeah okay I see you even what I want to try to come at is that I really think it's super unfortunate uh, that bigger youtubers try to go on that leak and hype train really uh, instead of actually providing content that I think they should be doing, you know, what people are subscribing them to, I think feeding false rumors and leaks as... Feeding leaks or rumors as leaks is probably the thing that bothers me the most. There isn't really, there doesn't necessarily need to be a confirmation about the rumor. It's rather is that the rumor needs to be disproven for it to be fake. Instead of actually, you know, leading up to here is proof to something I've stated. Here is what's happening. I think the way it works now, and it always been like this for the longest time I feel it's on the internet, is that you're right till proven wrong instead of actually need to prove yourself to be right. And I find that horrendous. And while I try to avoid that myself in you know, the best way I can, while I do, like I said, I joke about it, I also at the same time, not necessarily, I need a confirmation. I think I'm, I'm dumbing down my well, my followers, of course, by spreading stuff that isn't real. Um, and I really think that's what the bigger guys are doing. I really, I really need to be so honest and say that I think covering it like that is uh, is not respecting your viewers. I really, really think so. Um, I actually been for the life of me. You know, this is this is definitely unlike me. I watched a few. YouTuber, the you can't say that even right. Good thing I, you know, narrating this without scripts, really, really just enjoying life. I don't know if you guys think this is fair, but it's it, it's really copy with whiskey, so it's it's fine. Um, however, um, and the thing where they were going about some, you know, the Chinese the Riddler, which I guess has been right on the stuff. But at the same time, it's in riddles, so you know, you can kind of say something weird and somewhere down the line it's probably going to match something. Like, there's going to be new Pokemon in Pokemon. Well, holy shit, that's cool. Did not expect that. <laughs> Dumbing it down, definitely. But what I'm trying to say is that when I watch these videos, I feel the po the, the people who were... I'm, I'm not going to like do some kind of weird shout out which one, however... Um, most of these guys talked about, well, this is what they're talking about, but I feel this is also going to be in it, like, a new EVE evolution. And people are like, yeah, that's, that's probably in it. We haven't seen, even the Riddler doesn't say that, but that's probably in it, because I saw a Reddit about that. Look, fuck off. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that um, this is me definitely just... I would say ranting, but that's not the right word, more complaining. Uh, but I really want to give you guys some perspective that I don't necessarily like this evolution of um, YouTubers, or most certainly PocketTubers, really reaching for views by spreading false rumors. And I feel when they spread false rumors, it becomes more real and we're spreading false facts that other people will take as facts and then be proven wrong because it was wrong. And I feel like while spreading these rumors really, really, um, without confirmation, as I stated, it makes your viewers dumb in an aspect that you don't respect their integrity. And also at the same time, I remember with these three um, starter Pokemon that people were like, oh, this is you know, the, the rabbit and uh, the platypus, I think it's called that, like, you, know, you know, that Psy Psyduck water Pokemon. I think the design was really cool, so I'm not really going to stay. I, I, I was hoping, as much as everybody else, uh, looking at Callum, for example, the Hoodlum Scrap dude said the same thing. I really hope these Pokemons are real, but without confirmation, you know, we're 
we're not saying anything and, and that's how it's supposed to be it was a good created leak however it was proven uh really 12 hours after it was revealed that no this is fake uh, however the damage was already done because other bigger pokotubers were really just like look at this this is happening wow remember gen 6 leaked the last evolution now we got this i think it was like you know Cinderor in gen 7 yeah so, sorry about that. What I'm trying to say is the damage was already done. People will, you know, taking home st or straws basically and, you know, made a hay out of it. Like, mm, we got stuff to talk about. And they're like, they look like this. That's cool. That's that's a war Pokemon. Oh my god, that's awesome. And, you know, 10 minutes. <laughs> Schmack. <laughs> and I really, really just want to kind of state that. You guys who follow me, I know that you guys don't swallow anything necessarily, and, <laughs> and and you know be critical about what you're reading. I think most people are, but at the same time, I do want to kind of say that I don't I don't accept this kind of uh, um, what is it? I don't think. Yeah, I'm stumbling here, aren't I? I think you're being an asshole for spreading leaks and, and defining it as real just to get views. I think it's a very distaste, distasteful thing to do, and I think you're being a really, really dishonest Pokemon creator by doing so. And um, quite frankly, I think it's really lazy um, content. You know, I, I'm being lazy by doing something like this, but then you really, really, really are creating boring content creating false rumors and really just this evolution of really it's it's legit to proven wrong aspect is something that really is bothering me in my line of work you do the opposite thing and it's always been like that you can't go with it's supposed to be like this therefore go no you test it you find proof then you say it's like this if you have no proof then you shut up that's usually how things go that's how they're supposed to be actually i mean we're going to debate things that are real and when we're just making things up, well, then I guess the next legendary is Mew Free or, oh, I don't know, Pick a Blue. There seems legit for the longest time, right? So, yeah, really, like I said, this is me just complaining about other content creators. And, you know, I needed to actually get content up myself. So, in, in some aspect, I think this is fair. Uh, this is really complaining and very, very lazy. I, I really hope my tumbling place is better. Like, <laughs> but quite frankly, as I stated here, I really, really think this uh, this evolution, I guess, as you should say, about the Pokemon community, mainly the Pokemon creators in it. Um, if the big guys can keep doing stuff like this, um, then there will be no reason of actually revealing, well, real news in the end because quite frankly who knows wh which or what and if you really as a big pokemon creator really can't define that yourself then i i think you're in the wrong business at the same time that i kind of leaning towards that maybe people are just as and pick anymore what come to which type of followers they really want to go at and learn from or you know get content from um i mean look at me when i start off you know learning about pokemon i found really very of the front page and yeah, that, that wasn't a good example of what I would say good Pokemon creation. However, I needed to be the judge of that. And quite frankly, luckily for me, I'm old enough to know when a people is an asshole. And yeah, clearly he was. Anyway, that's besides the point. What I'm trying to say is already stated. Hey, um, with that said, I do want to wish you guys a happy Easter. I mean, I'm only going to upload one more thing this week. And that's going to be who is really better with Gigalith and Regirock. And um, I'm still working on it. And I kind of felt while I was um, just editing that, you know what? I need to make this video. I'm I'm so bored on Twitter, you know, you just watch it just for hell of it. And just like, mm -mm, no, I need to get this out of my system. And whether or not I upload this or not, which I will do most likely, um, you know, at least by then I'm, you know, I, I can get my message across to people are idiots. And, you know, hopefully you're not one of them that watch. That's, that's roughly the point. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, besides that, no uploads this week. Uh, so yeah, how about that? Uh, cl clearly stalling for that 10 minute 01 mark. Yeah, you, you guys are feeling it already. Anyway guys, I really want to have 
wish you guys a happy Easter and quite frankly, I really wish you a good day. Take care. Bye. Oh, two, three, four, eight.